Hello, morning. Kamusta kayo? Okay pa? Boy pa? Can I ask you a favor? Pwede niyo bang palakpakan yung sarili niyo? So, thank you, no? For persevering. Two days already. Uh, three days already, no? Na-survive na kayo ng three days, no? Nakasama pa rin naman natin si Jesus, no? Nakakakipa ba tayo sa kanya? Hopefully. No? Hopefully. Now, trying to recall yung mga talks na binigay, no? For the past two days, no? We learned na talagang ambitious yung Diyos pagdating sa atin, di ba? God is really ambitious when it comes to us, no? Yung mga naririnig natin sa Kanya was all good, no? And it really is a, ano, tag nila, is a true, it's true enough for me, no? True enough. Kasi I used to be, no? I used to be one of the participants before. No? Katulad ninyo, it was also my first time attending the Eastern Encounter, no? And I could really say na ambitious si God kasi after all the years, no? After all these years, no, isa na tayo sa nagbibigay din ng talk, no, tumutulong. So, may plan na talaga yung Diyos for each and every one of us. True enough, no? Now, when He looks at us, all He can see is so much possibilities, no? So much greatness kapag tinitingnan tayo ng Diyos. And kapag nakikita tayo ng Diyos, all He can see is the possibility for sainthood, no? Naniniwala ba kayo doon? That we are all deserved for holiness? Naniniwala ba kayo doon? No? Mahirap pero yun yung pangarap ng Diyos para sa atin. Pero no, kung minsan along the way, nahihirapan tayo to strive for that greatness. No? And I am here to talk about no, yung reason kung bakit tayo nahihirapan, no? kung bakit tayo nahihirapan on becoming our greater self. No? that God hopes us to be. So let's talk about unawareness and sin. No? So sabi nila, when God created the fish, He spoke to the water. And when He created the, na- ano, the nature, no? He spoke, and when He created no, the, the nature, He spoke to the earth. But when God created us, no, the human being, He spoke to himself. No? So yesterday, no, we heard from all the talks, no, that God created us from love, no, and with the purpose of love, and that this God who created us doesn't look at us simply as one of His crea- creation, but His beloved child, no. Tinitingnan niya tayo ang kanyang mga anak na talagang minamahal niya. So, ginawa tayo sa pagmamahal, umiiral tayo sa pagmamahal, dahil tayo ay minamahal. So, today is Black Saturday. No? And we commemorate the death of our Lord. So, it's good to remind ourselves no, na Lent or Holy Week is not about sin. No, it's about the love of God in spite of sin, no, in spite of our sinfulness. No, hindi rin ito yung araw na binibilang ng Diyos yung mga pagkakamali natin. It is the love of God in spite of our sinfulness. No, but no matter how much we try to sugarcoat this truth, no, yung immense love ng Diyos sa atin, it took a toll on somebody, no? And I don't know about you, but I can really hear no, the Father screaming at us frustratedly. What have I done? Ano bang nagawa natin? No? Sabi nga sa book of the prophet, of prophet Isaiah, no? Ano pa ba ang nakalimutan kong gawin sa ubasan ko? Matamis na bunga ang inaasahan ko, pero nagpitasin ko ay maasim. So God in frustration is asking you today, Jobs, bakit ang asin mo? God is asking us today, no? What more was there to do that I have not done yet? No? Ano pa ba yung hindi ko nagagawa? Hindi pa ba kita minamahal ng sapat? Haven't I loved you enough? No? We are created out of love and it is 
with love that He took good care of us. No, but why is it that our heart no, bore the sour taste of hatred, of disobedience, and of sin? So, sa madaling sabi, ginawa ka para sa kabutihang loob, ngunit bakit naging masama ka? No, bakit naging masama ka? Ginawa ka para sa katotohanan, pero bakit ka sinungaling? Ginawa kang mapagbigay, pero bakit ka naging malamot? Bakit ka naging gahaman? Ginawa kang may purong pagmamahal, pero bakit marumi ang iyong pag-iisip? No? Bakit marumi ang iyong intensyon? Ginawa ka sa imahe ng Diyos, pero bakit yung kalaban yung kamukha mo? Diba? Bakit hindi mo sinasalamin yung kabutihan niya? So, ano bang nangyari sa'yo? Anong nangyari sa'yo? So, medyo masakit to, ha? Gawain to. Balikan natin ang kapalas. No? Balikan natin yung unang beses na sinubukan mong magkasala. Ready na ba kayo? Okay. Magsimula tayo sa pinakasimple. The most simple, no? Noong bata ka pa, nothing that comes from your mouth that isn't beautiful. No? Maybe you always say, thank you. Siyempre, bata ka pa, hindi ganun yung boses mo. Thank you! <laughs> Please! Po! Oh. Opo! Oh, no? Until one time, no? You heard someone, maybe an adult, no? Na nag-curse. Nagmura. Perhaps, no? It sparked a curiosity in you. Dahil lahat ng matatanggap kilala mo, lahat sila nagmumura. And out of curiosity, you, tr you try copying them, no? Ilang kaunang beses na sumubok magmura? No? Siguro nung umpisa, pinapalo-palo mo pa yung bibig mo, no? no? Sorry po, sorry Lord, sorry. No? Ganun ka siguro nung umpisa, no? Especially kapag nadudulas ka o nagugulat ka. And then what, no? It's, it has become your expression, no? Naging expression mo na siya. And then, it became a part of everything you say. No? It has become a part of you, yung pagmumura. No? Naging pantawag mo na rin siya sa mga kaibigan mo, Oy! Ano mo? <laughs> Minsan, ginagamit mo na rin siyang pang-hello. Oy! Mm. Diba? Ganyan na ganyan yung ginagawa ninyo, natatawa kayo. So, it has become your language. No? It has become your language. Mura ka dito, mura ka doon. Ba't di mo subukan magmahal? Until one day, no? For some reason, somebody made you angry. No? May nakagalit sa'yo. Let's say your parents, no? And now you express your anger towards them by cursing them behind their back. And it will not long, it will not be long, no, until you can finally say it to their faces. No? So cursing, no, pagmumura, as simple as cursing. One more thing, no, na tingin natin sobrang simple lang, yet it has a very massive effect. Pagsisinumaling, no, o lying. No? When was the first time you tried to lie? Kailan mo unang beses sinubukang magmura? Ay, magmura. Magsinumalim. No, the first time na ako, the first time I lied was when I faked my sickness so I can skip school. So, yun yung, yun yung ginagawa ko. At pag ganyan, pagalingan ng acting. Parang pagalingan ng acting, no? So, hindi ko na lang sasabihin sa inyo, no? Pero, yung mga kailangan ko dito for sure, Meron kaming technique. Meron inilalagay sa aming kwitan para talagang mag-init yung katawan mo, no? Hindi ko na lang sasabihin, baka gayahin nyo eh. No? Para mag-init yung katawan mo na para ka talagang nilalagnat, no? So para pag inipo ka ng nanay mo, no? Pag tinag, ay may sakit na! No? Bila ng royal na! Bila ng jolly bee! No? So ganun, no? Ang galing, nagiging author na, no? So, ganun yung ginagawa ko minsan, sinasabihan ko pa ng konti, suka-suka dyan. At sasabihan, hindi ka okay, huwag ka muna dumasok. Talaga. Mission success. Diba? 
Isa pang beses, ano, no? Isa pang beses na nagagawa natin magsimungaling is kailan, no? Kapag gagala ka. No? Kapag gagala kayo ng friends ninyo. Yan ang hirap sa inyo, eh. Walang makuhang matinong sagot sa inyo yung parents niyo pag nagtatanong sila sa inyo. No? Sinungaling. Nagtatanong kayo, saan ka pupunta? Diyan lang. Yan ang kasama mo? Sila. Ano oras ka uwi, mamaya? Walang nakuha natin yung sabot sa inyo yung parents niyo. No? Ayaw mong magsabi ng totoo kasi nakot kang hindi payagan. Diba? You became so good no? in making up stories that you use it for your own benefit na. And even in destroying others. No? You started lying for your own benefit and now you lie to destroy others. No? Lying that leads to gossiping. No? You're not just lying anymore, you start gossiping. So, meron akong, ano, meron akong kwento, meron akong isang kaibigan, no? mapit siya sa akin, sabi niya, Gab, iniwan ako ng girlfriend ko, sabi niya, I am so broken hearted, hindi ko na kaya, gusto ko nang itigil to. So, nangihingi ng ayo, ako naman mabait, siyempre, payo dito, payo to, okay lang yan, baka lumawag yung lupo niya, Nakita ko na sasaktan talaga siya. Kaya ang sakit. Broken hearted talaga. So kami naman ng mga friends ko, mga high school friends ko, no? We started comforting him. No? Okay lang yan. Tara, inong tayo. Sabay mo. Kung dito, para makalimot ka. Kung mga broken hearted ako pagkakasin. Diba? So he is on and on about, no? How this girl have hurt and destroyed her. I destroyed him, no? Kaya ako, no? Naiinis na rin ako dun sa ex niya. So, nagkaroon ako ng unconscious hate dun sa girl, no? Pag nakikita ko, naiinis na rin ako. So, magta na ito, kaya pili ako. Si Pahit na ito, ha? So, not until, no? Not until I got the chance to talk to her, to his ex, no? Nakausap ko yung ex ng kaibigan ko. And then I learned, no? That the reason why she left him is because, as per her story, no, nag-ugod na siya sa akin sa gabi, tapos nag-a-I can't sleep siya sa iba. Diba? Making up stories, lying, gossiping. No? Another thing, no, that we think so simple, cheating. No? Very common understanding natin ng cheating is what? sa school, di ba? Pag may quiz, pag may exam, may test. O di kaya yung friend ko, no? Na nag-cheat. Di kaya sa mag-boyfriend or mag-girlfriend, no? But I'm here to talk about a different kind of cheating that all of us, for sure, have committed. Ano yun? So, walang paso. Di ba? Walang paso. Pero, hihingi ng baon. O di naman kaya, hihingi ng baon pero hindi papaso. Diba? Cheating. You cheated to your parents and you steal from them by deceiving them. Hindi ka naman bibigyan ng pera ng parents mo for sure, no? Kung wala kang paso. And another example, no? Inutusan ka ng nanay mong bumili ng suka. Pinapatanong niya sa'yo kung magkano. Sabi ng tindera, 20. No? Sinabi mo sa nanay mo magkano? 50. May tax agad. Diba? Binigyan ka ng 100 pang bili. At yung malungkot na kwento dito ay nagsinungaling ka na nga sa presyo, hindi mo pa sinuli yung suple. Diba? Again, cheating that leads to stealing. Another example, no? This is very rampant, no? In every teenager and young adults, no? Pornography. No? You have to be very careful with this because this scene is very tricky. This scene is very tricky. Kasi it has already planted itself even before you even tried watching or browsing them on the internet. So, paano? In social media, no? Sa FB, sa Twitter, sa IG, sa, sa TikTok, ano yung mga pictures na tinitignan ninyo? 
What are the videos? Natatawa ka dyan yun, bakit? What are the videos, no? That you are watching, no? Meron sila yung mga tinatawag ng thirst trap. Alam niyo ba yung isa din ba? Thirst trap, no? Ito alam niyo. No, yung mga thirst trap photos, thirst trap videos, no? Also, unconscious, ito hindi natin alam. What are the lyrics of the music that you are listening to? What are the songs that you are listening to? No? What are the movies, the film that you watch, no? You watch to, no? Does it include any sexy scene? No? Mga BL stories na yan, Korean, Korean, ano tawag doon? Korean drama, no? Does it have sexy scenes? No? It all unconsciously start with this. Yung mga ganito kaligit na bagay. And then you will dive deeper. No? You will dive deeper. You will start watching the real thing. No? And it will not be long until you do it yourself. Or you do it with someone. Diba? You will now go to the extreme. And for those who are living in Pansol, you have seen the consequences of this, diba? Sa ating school, merong kumalat na, recently lang, diba? Merong kumalat na scandal. So you have seen the consequences no, of this, you know, of this sin. So people never crumble in a day, sabi nga sa music natin kanina, diba? Nagdaan ito sa isang matagal at mahabang proseso. At nagsisimula ito saan? With something so little called curiosity. No, not too curious ka. You know it is wrong, but you dismiss the idea of it being wrong because you are curious to know what it's like or what it feels like. Diba? Nagawa mo na. Ngayon, paulit-ulit mo na siyang ginagawa. And then you justify by saying, okay lang yan. No? Okay lang yan lang naman sila ginagawa yan eh. Okay lang yan, white lies lang naman. White lies lang. Okay lang yan, maliit lang naman yung kinuha ko kung para sa mga nagnanahaw talaga no? sa gobyerno. Maliit lang, maliit lang. Okay lang yan, wala namang makakaalam. No? Wala naman ako sinasaktan, pinapanood ko eh. So you're starting to justify. No? Sinasabi mo rin, tao lang naman ako, nagkakamali. Hmm? Sure ka? Sure ka, tao ka? Sure ka? Nagkakamali? No? There's a difference, no? Sa tao nagkamali, sa nagkasala. No? Hindi lahat ng nagkamali, nagkasala. Pero lahat ng nagkasala, nagkamali. Halimbawa, no? Kaninang umaga, Nagtimpla ka ng kape, no? 3-in-1, lumapit ka sa dispenser, naglagay ka ng tubig, daldal ka ng daldal, hinalo mo, hindi mahalo. Kasi yung nilagay mo, malamig, no? Hindi yung kasalanan, may tawag doon. <laughs> Ang tawag doon ay, nagkamali. Yung nagsabi ng tanga, siya yung nagkasala. <laughs> no? So magkaiba yun. We also justify by saying, no, okay lang yan, kaya ko namang itigil every, anytime I want. Hmm? Totoo? And you, talaga, now that you have gone to the extreme, no, now that what you have been thinking have become your words, your words have become your Actions, no? Your actions have become your habit, and now your habit have become your character, no? Now that you have gotten to a point where you started believing that nothing is wrong with you, wala mong mali sa akin eh, simply because everybody is doing it. Wala mong mali sa akin eh, tanggap ako ng Diyos, mahal niya ako kahit ano pong pagkakamali ko, kahit ano pang pagkakasala ko, mahal ako ng Diyos, yes? God loves you, no? Jesus loves you the way you are, but He refused to leave you that way. No? He refused to leave you that way. So you were created with the seed of solution in you, but you now have become part of the system. You are now, you are now part of the problem. So first you dismiss, and then you justify, 
and then you normalize. Uh, now, thinking that everybody does it, does it, you think na nothing is wrong with you. Walang mali sa'yo. Meron, no? There is, but you can no longer identify it because you have numbed your conscience, no? Manghid na yung konsensya mo. The very place inside of you where God is alone with you. So, sabi sa God yung Edspes number 16, Conscience is the most secret core and sanctuary of a man. There he is alone with God whose voice echoes in his death. No? So you wonder now, now you wonder, bakit pakiramdam mo, you are dry, you feel isolated, bakit na kahit na ginagawa mo naman lahat ng bagay that seems happy, that seems pleasurable, but for you, you still feel unsatisfied, no? you still feel incomplete, in you, you still feel a void. Kasi no, now, now that you have numbed your conscience, you can no longer hear the voice of God that speaks to you. No? You are now disconnected to the voice that reminds you kung ano ba talaga yung true self-worth mo, no? your true identity. And what is what is the true identity is? No? Is that we are, or you are, a beloved child of God. Diba? Yun yung message is past few days. And ideally, no, ideally, a beloved child of God will run back to his father asking for forgiveness whenever he or she did something wrong. No, katulad ng kwento ng prodigal son. No, ideally, no, we go to God in full humility, in full sincerity, no, and we confess our mistakes, recognize our failures, no, and take responsibility of our actions, no. Going straight to the one who can heal us and receive his mercy. Pero ang malungkot na kwento, ang malungkot na kwento ay tayo mismo yung nagsasara ng pinto na kung saan ay biya, yung biyaya ay dapat na natatanggap natin. Tayo mismo yung nagsasara ng pinto. Because normally, normally what we do, we choose to go another way. No? It's much more common in us, no? It is our tendency. We are not that holy. Yun yung reasoning natin, di ba? Normally, we try to be the ones to rescue our own selves. No? We try compromising our way to salvation by covering our mistake with another mistake. No? Kung baga sa pasyente, alam mo nang may sakit ka, alam mo nang may nararamdaman ka. Pero in this na mag patingin ka sa doktor, ayaw mo. Kasi natatakot ka na malamang may sakit ka talaga. And the worst part is, hindi mo na alam kung ano yung nangyayari sa'yo. You try to self-medicate. You try to self-medicate thinking that you can heal yourself. So what is it about sin that we fail to understand? No? Ano bang hindi natin naiintindihan sa pagkakasala? Hindi mo ba talaga naiintindihan na bilang estudyante, masama yung mga opya? Naiintindihan mo naman yun, hindi ba? Hindi ba talaga naiintindihan ng mga namumukit o ng mga korat na masama yung magnakaw? Naiintindihan naman nila yun, hindi ba? Ang tanong is, bakit mo ginagawa? No? Bakit mo ginagawa? Ang sagot ay, dahil hindi mo naiintindihan kung sino ba hindi mo naiintindihan kung sino ka. We commit sin not because we fail to understand it, but because we have lost the sense of sin. Ginagawa mo yung kasalanan, hindi dahil hindi mo naiintindihan. Pero dahil hindi mo nakikita yung tunay na mukha ng kasalanan. Hindi ba alam ng diabetic na bawal sa kanila yung matamis? Alam naman nila yun, di ba? Hindi ba alam ng mga high blood na bawal sa kanila yung mga matatabang pagkain? Alam nila yun, di ba? Pero bakit patuloy pa rin silang kumakain ng mga bawal sa kanila? Kasi hindi nila naiintindihan yung epekto. Ang alam lang nila, masarap kasi ito. Yun lang ang alam nila, masarap kasi ito. So the same with sin. The same with sin. Because we have failed to understand what sin is, 
what sin is making of us, no? then we continue to, to sin despite of our understanding of it. No? And we have become worse by doing what was wrong the first time, now we have worsened, no? By covering wrong with another wrong. We cover up our sin by doing another sin. No, but before that, no, let us remind ourselves, no, tulad na sabi ko kanina, na it's not about sin, no? Holy Week is not about sin, it's, it, it is the love of God in spite of sin. Kasi tulad niya nang sabi ni St. Ignatius of Loyola, it is more sinful to talk about sin outside the context of God's love. Because if you simply talk about sin, apart the love of God, apart, the, apart from the eyes of God, no, you simply look at sin as what? Breaking the law. But sin, no, is not just simply breaking the law. You must learn to look at it as hurting someone who has implemented the law. And allow me, no, to share with you my understanding of the different ways on how we say no to God, no. We commit sin by three things, no. First, breaking the law. Second, breaking our vow. And third, missing the heart. So breaking the law. Our common understanding of sin is what? Breaking the Ten Commandments. Kaya nga ang tanong natin lang palagi is, ano ba ito? Vinyal or mortal? No, vinyal ba or mortal? But the truth is, no, the truth is, it's never about whether it's venial or mortal. Or kung gaano kalalay na gawa natin kasalanan. Tulad nga nang sabi ni St. Ignatius de Loyola, it is to say no to God. No, it is to hurt God. No, to commit sin is to hurt God. So maswerte tayo mga katoliko dahil meron lamang tayong sampung, sampung utos ng Diyos. No? Pero yung mga budyo, 613 Imagine, can you imagine 613? Yun ang sampo, hindi natin ma-memorize, di ba? Kaya nga minsan, dinadagdagan na lang natin yan ng tatlo. Kapag hindi mo maalala yung sampo, no? Kung hindi mo maalala yung sampo, alalahanin mo na lang yung ikalabing isa. Ano yun? Kapag gumawa ka ng kasalanan, o ka magpapahuli. No? Yun na lang yung mahalaga. Kapag gumawa ka ng kasalanan, kailangan hindi ka mahuli. No? Kapag Nahuli ka naman, alalahanin mo lang yung pangkwer, huwag na huwag kang aamin. No? At kapag talaga wala ka ng lusot, ano yung ika-13? Magtubo ka. Para dalawa kayong labo. No? But looking at the Ten Commandments, no? Ayan, the Ten Commandments, from Numbers 5 to 10, majority of the law given is in regards with our relationship towards others. No, kung mapapansin ninyo. Meaning to say that when we continue to live our lives, breaking the Ten Commandments of God, we live our lives in conflict towards others. No? A life of total no towards others. And if we cannot be communion with our brothers, no, how can we be in communion with God whom we cannot see? Kung hindi mo kayang hihisaktan o kung hindi mo kayang maging in relationship with people around you, paano pa yung Diyos na hindi mo nakikita? Diba? Which brings us no, to breaking our vows with God. Sabi sa James 5 verse 12, But above all, my brethren, ay Tagalog na lang. Ngunit higit sa lahat mga kapatid ko, Huwag kayong susumpa sa pamamagitan ng langit o lupa o ng ano pa mang panunumpa. Ang inyong oo ay dapat maging oo. Ang inyong hindi ay dapat maging hindi upang hindi kayo mahulog sa kahagulan. So, di ba? For example, when we give our yes to someone, no, perhaps girlfriend, boyfriend, it means you are saying no to many possibilities of pursuer. No? When you give your yes to someone, you give your yes to so many possibilities na rin. When you give your yes to a big project, you, you give your no to any other small projects, no? Or letting go of many other opportunities. 
So it is the same with our vows to God. When we give our yes to God, we cannot continue to live saying no to Him. No? Our life must mirror what we believe. Dahil kung hindi natin na isa sa buhay, yung ating pananampalataya, ibig sabihin nagsisinungaling tayo. You cannot continue to say that I am a vessel of God, but you live the other way around. You cannot say na I am the voice of God, but you say a different message. No? So, it is one thing no, to commit a sin and to say no to God, but to continue to commit sin despite of the knowledge of it being wrong, is already despising God. Kapag nagkakasala kayo, say no to God. But when you continue to commit sin, it means that you hate God already. Kinamumuhian mo na yung Diyos. And if you despise God, or the way of God, if you are not one with Him who created you, who truly knows you, what makes you think that you can fully be in your best self? Which leads us no, to missing the mark. Sin came from a Greek word, hamarsha, meaning to miss a mark or to miss a goal. And again, ano nga yung goal natin? The goal is to live an ideal life, katulad ng sinasabi this past two days. The goal is, is to be a saint. No? The goal is to be Christ-like. But what hinders us from becoming Christ-like is if we keep on subscribing from things that destroys us. No? If you continue to subscribe to pornography, it will destroy your mind. It will destroy your purity of heart, your intentions no? with your relationship. When you continue to, to subscribe with alcoholism, no? drinking, drinking, it will destroy your health. No? And also your relationship. No? Ang daming mga broken family simply because of alcoholism. When you continue to be vulgar, no? o marumi yung pananalita, it will destroy your credibility of preaching and talking about God. No, baka nga kaya tayo nangihiyang mag-express ng faith natin because people know that this is not who we are. This is not how we talk. So itong mga batas, itong mga rules, itong mga commandments, hindi siya tinawa para sa kalintayo. It is not for us, no? Para masakal. It is a constant reminder of us, for us, of what our real function should be. No, yung mga rules, it's not something that you need to do, but it's a reminder of who you are. So when God is telling you, do not steal, it's because God is reminding you that you are not a thief. And when God is telling you that do not lie, it means that you are not a liar kasi. So these are not commandments na sinasakal tayo, but a reminder, no? Katulad ng mga appliances na merong manual sa likod. The commandments is our manual. So when we continue to live in sin, we rob ourselves of our own future, we rob ourselves of living our lives in total happiness. No, but either way, whether by breaking the law, breaking our vow, or missing the mark, the truth is, itong tatlong ito are just effect. Epekto lamang sila ng pinakatotoong problema na nasa loob natin. And the real problem is that you see, you do not see by hating on others or by destroying yourself. These are just effect of a deep-seated problem. And what, the real, and what is that real problem is? The real problem is that you want to be the God of your own life. Sabi sa Genesis 3 verse 5, For God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be open, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When you say no to God, no, and place a total yes to yourself, in your own understanding of things, you say to God, I do not need you. I don't need you, God. I am the God of my life. I get to decide kung ano yung tama at mali. I get, I get to decide what is best for me and what is bad for me. 
I do not need you, God. And sin, no, makikita natin ito sa kanyang epekto and consequences. First in me, second in others, and third with my relationship with Jesus. No, and this to and this choice to totally say no to God brings consequences in our lives. So we were meant to be Christ-like, diba? To be the image of Christ in this earth. Diba? Yun naman talaga yung original plan ni God para sa atin. He looks at us and He dreams of us being perfect in Him. But when we continue to live outside of Christ, we become what is called a broken Christ. No? What is a broken Christ? So sabi sa Psalms 115 verses 4 to 8, but, they are, but their idols are silver and gold made by human hands. They have mouth but cannot speak, eyes but cannot see, they have ears but cannot hear, noses but cannot smell, they have hands but cannot feel, feet but cannot walk. So a broken Christ is someone who is with complete and normal function, but refuses to use them in any good. For example, kung ikaw yung taong equipped with the experience, no, you have a message to tell, pero you refuse to share, you refuse to preach, kasi ang reason mo, I am shy. Nahihiya ako. Omission, di ba? You have mouth, but you cannot speak. Di ba? Meron kang mata, but you are turning a blind eye towards the realities around you. No, you have eyes, but you cannot see. No, meron kang tena, pero you refuse to hear the need and the call for help of the people. So you have ears, but you cannot hear. You have the capacity, pero you refuse to use them. And the worst part is, the worst part is you use them for evil. You use them for evil. So you become the complete contrary of what God expects from you. You become a temple of God, but destroyed. No, I think it's high time now no, for us to ask ourselves, what have I become and what others have become because of me? Anong nangyari sa akin at ano yung nangyari sa iba dahil sa akin? No, for this broken Christ, itong mga broken Christ na ito, it's not enough that they are the only ones na broken, no? They take people with them. No, pinaka vivid example sa akin dito is yung pagdudota nila Kuya Jedo, no? Nahuli sila ng pulis, pero isa sa mga nahuli sa inyo, nanunood na. No? So it's not enough na you are doing wrong, no? But you're taking people along with you to do, to do wrong. Sabi sa Romans 1 verse 22, they are well aware no, of the ordinances of God. They know, know that God is righteous. I'm sorry. Although they know God's righteous decree, that those who do such things deserve death, they not only continue to do these very things, but also approve of those who practice them. So, hindi ka lang gumagawa ng masama ng dadamay ka pa. No? And the problem is, we end up using our influence to encourage others to do the same. You know, the same of what we do. Which leads us to the next effect. You know, with our relationship with God. Diba sinabi ni Jesus, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only those who do the will of my Father who is in heaven. And when we continue to live in sin, when you continue to live distant, disconnected with God in this lifetime, what makes you think that you can be in eternal relationship with Him? So if you cannot be in relationship with God now, what makes you think that you can be in eternal relationship with Him? No? Dalawa lang yan eh. Either pupunta ka sa non-smoking area or sa smoking area. And the choice is ours. No? But we are not a hopeless case. No? We are not a hopeless case. No? The first step to healing is to admit 
that you need help. I need help. That you need someone. And that help that we need can be found in Jesus. No, it can be found in Jesus. Sabi nga sa 1 Peter verses 1 to 18, uh, 1 Peter chapter 1 verses 18, For you know that it, was, that it was not with perishable things, such as silver or gold, that you were, that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you by your ancestors, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamp without blemish or defect. So keep this in mind. No? If God can give you His only Son, is there anything He cannot give to you? Kung kaya ibigay ng Diyos yung kanyang nag-iisang anak para sa iyo, meron bang hindi kaya ibigay ang Diyos para sa iyo? Kung kaya niya ibigay yung anak niya, no? Hindi ba kakayanin ng Diyos na ibigay sa iyo yung kapatawaran kapag lumapit ka sa kanya at magsabi, Lord, sorry akin. Lord, sorry na kamali ako. No? And I hope, no, I hope really that you have learned to ask for forgiveness regardless of how crazy, of how dark, or how intense your sins are. Especially when you realize Parang mali nga yun. Parang may mali nga. So I remember a very memorable confession I had. No, I am so ashamed no, to go to a priest. No, kasi pakiramdam ko ang lala na nang ginawa ko. And I am a devoted kasi of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. So that time, nagsimba kami ng family ko sa Sacred Heart of Jesus Parish in Kamuning. And there I had my confession. No, pero after hearing, after the priest hearing my confession, he told me something that will forever stay no, in my heart and mind. Sabi niya, alam mo anak, ang kasalanan mo ay kasing laki lang ng daliling ito. Kasing laki lang ng daliling ito. Pero yung pagmamahal sa iyo ng Diyos ay kasing laki ng kamuni. So for example for us, ang kasalanan natin is ganito lang kalaki. But the love of God no? ay kasing laki ng talay-talay. So that's the contrast of the love of God no? sa ating mga kasalanan. And as part of my penance, no, I was asked to pray dun sa harap ng image ng Sacred Heart. And I noticed no, na yung Sacred Heart image na yun, it was so beautiful. Ang ganda ng pintura, ang ganda ng, sculpt, ng sculpture niya. Only for one thing, no? yung heart niya Ang dami ng dem, ang daming gasgas. Siguro kasi I, I observe na yun yung part ng image na venerate ng mga tao, yun yung hinahawakan nila, kaya nagagasgas. But I realize something that is much important than that. No? No, and the truth is that God really uses His heart to the extreme. No, he really uses His heart to the extreme. No, gamit na gamit yung puso ni Jesus sa pagpapatawa. At kaya tayo itinutuwid ng Diyos, kaya niya itinutuwid yung ating mga buhay, kasi kailanman hindi pwedeng pagsamahin ang pagpapala sa pagkakasala. And if we want to live a blessed life, then we must live a holy life. That is the invitation, that is the dream of God for us. But it doesn't matter what you did. Just come home. No? Just ask for forgiveness. So I invite you know, to look at the image no, ng ating poster. No? At sana magsilbing imahe ito sa atin. A reminder, no? An assurance that we may have the tendency to let go. No? Maaari tayo yung may tendency na gumitaw. But it is Jesus who is holding our hands. No? And if Jesus is holding your hands, you may live in the assurance that He will not let you go. So we are going to have a moment of silence. And we are going to have a moment of prayer. And mayroong magbibigay sa atin ng mga prayer sheets. No? And we can ask ourselves, no, kung ano ba yung nakastruck sa atin from the song 
of the passages from the book. And what particular sin do I find hard to overcome? Ano yung mga kasalanan na nanihirapan ako ang galima? No? In what way does it affect my life? So paano ako naa-apekto ka nito? Paano ito nakaka-apekto sa akin? Sa aking mga relasyon? At sa relasyon ko sa Diyos? At paano ko aayusin yung aking brokenness, no? yung sarili kong brokenness, and the broken relationship I have with others and with God. So you may spend your time in prayer.